I would like to ask you, do you ever become discouraged? And I'm sure that you do. Especially when we listen to the news and we hear about people losing their jobs, uh, losing their homes. We hear about banks closing. Uh, the stock market goes down. The bonds are worth less than they were when you bought them. Uh, your 401k plan for retirement is getting less and less. Yes, it can become very discouraging. And then we see that God is being left out of every area of our society. We um, aren't supposed to pray in public. Uh, we're not supposed to bring our Bibles and read them. Uh, the Ten Commandments aren't supposed to be displayed. And on and on it goes. Yes, we can become very discouraged. But I want to tell you, there is hope. There is hope in the Lord. If we will just read his word, we can be encouraged instead of discouraged. Matthew chapter 6, verses 33 and 34. Don't be anxious about tomorrow. God will take care of you when you give him first place in your life and you live for him. Don't be anxious. Just trust the Lord. Have faith that he will carry you through. What is faith, you ask? Well, in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1, we read these words. Faith is a confident assurance that something we want is going to happen. It is the, <clears throat> the certainty that what we hope for is waiting for us, even though we can't see it right now. And folks, I'm reading these scriptures from the Living Bible. We need to have faith. We need to trust God. Psalm 118 and verse 8 says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put your confidence in man. And we read in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, that we need to trust in the Lord with all our heart and in all of our ways acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. Don't be discouraged. Go to God's word. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, God is faithful and always will be. He never gives up working on you and on me. So we must strive to serve him each day and follow his will and his way. Be encouraged today is my prayer for you. Thank you.